This prophetic encouragement was curated for October 28, 2024. Separated, Set Apart for Surrender All by Sandy Holman published on October 26, 2024. The Lord very solemnly spoke this, I am a still soft voice. I am a good listener. I speak many ways, but tell my people today, I am shouting with a loud voice and blowing my trumpet in Zion. I did not create this war, but I will end it on my terms, says the Creator of all the earth. The voice of truth is stepping up onto the stage and calling out those who are starving for truth, those who are seeking truth, those who claim to have chosen truth, those who say they accept truth, but have not counted the cost, those who know the truth, but have fallen into double-mindedness and are struggling with the fear of the Lord, and those who believe the truth that are transitioning into living the truth. The Lord is saying, Behold, I have taken out of thine hand the cup of trembling, even the dregs of the cup of my fury. Thou shalt no more drink it again. For the same cup of trembling that was put into the hands of Babylon, Assyria, and the surrounding nations is the same cup of trembling that is in the hands of the nations today. The wine of fear, hopelessness, and great consternation is the result of evil and wickedness that is rampant and is constantly filling the eyes of the church and the world with the lies of the one who has come to oppress, kill, and destroy. I have come to remind you, I am the I am, and I am your provider, who has promised to meet all your needs. I have prepared a place for you at my table of plenty. I am stepping down to destroy this ungodly state that has invaded the hearts of the world with a fear for survival, says the lover of your soul. There are two sides to every story, says the Lord, and I ask you today, is your heart a highway of holiness or is it a hindrance? Do you desire to pursue, overtake the enemy, and recover all? The enemy has come to close the road by putting up the wrong road signs and put you on his detour plan that is a total dead-end street, says the Father. He wants to divert your course, stop your influence, and block my highway of holiness. He has a divided highway called the Spirit of Division, but my highway is the narrow path where peaceful waters flow, says the Spirit of Truth. I am come to make the crooked path straight. Prepare ye in the wilderness, make straight in the desert a highway, is what the Word of God proclaims. Wilderness cries out as a parched dry land, often what we look on as unworkable or hopeless. It is in that dryness that God's glory shall be revealed with the reign of His Spirit. For He has promised the wilderness shall be glad, and the desert shall rejoice, and blossom as the rose. But a way must be made straight. Do you desire to tear down any wall in your heart that would hinder the outpouring of His Spirit? Do you desire to connect only with those who desire to overtake the enemy in this hour? We are moment by moment facing the choice of life or death. His breath of life or the stench of death. Only the spirit of pride allows our need to be right to be elevated over our need to be one. We are only as powerful as the choice we make. We are defined by the choices we have made. The enemy has come to derail our destiny. The reality is we are in a real war, and the knowledge of that truth enables us to live focused lives with our eyes on the prize and not be overcome with the enemy's lies. Let your eye be single and full of light, and let your heart be filled with one desire when we finish this life that we may say, I have brought glory to you on earth. I finished the work which you have given me to do. Last but not least, the Lord spoke clearly, The world is drunk on power and total dominion and all mankind is tasting the wine of deception while I am filling my vessels with the new wine. In this new era, you are encountering me in many ways that you never have before and you will continue to make many adjustments and changes as I turn the tables of the money changers. But your table shall once again flow with abundance and the taste of fresh new wine. Just as this stressful time has been produced much pressure and crushing, my vessels shall overflow with the taste of new wine and an anointing that has prepared them for a great outpouring of the miraculous and a great harvest, declares the Lord of Abundance. The days are coming, declares the Lord, when the reaper will be overtaken by the plowman and the planter by the one treading grapes. New wine will drip from the mountains and flow from all the hills. 
neither do people pour new wine into old wineskins. If they do, the skins will burst. The wine will run out and the wineskins will be ruined. No, they pour new wine into new wineskins, Matthew 9:17 NIV. Know this, I will do the unexpected. So do not lean on your own understanding, but continue to seek my face. I will use the hidden ones who have been prepared in the furnace of affliction. Even as the world is demonstrating division, I too am separating the totally surrendered ones unto myself as the radical remnant, says the Lord of all the earth. My chosen ones shall burn with the fire of my love. It is surrender and set apart time. For I know what I am doing. I am the messenger come to create a message out of a mess. Many of my chosen have messed up in some area of life, but I say, purpose is arising out of stressful battles and mess is being turned into messages that will be a turnaround for others as they witness the colors of victory, says the Creator of all. The Father pointed out to me that much like Hosea was called by God and whose life was a reflection of the actual state of the nations of Judah and Israel, so are we to be a walking living testimony of God in our times of war and great clashing of swords of evil today. Just as Hosea in his time was appointed and called by God to carry his heart and live out his heart, so are we also to live out his heart on the earth today as he leads us to demonstrate truth and be a living expression of God for the nations. He is calling for the older to teach the younger. He is raising up a new generation of fierce, bold warriors among the youth. He is calling out for much commitment among those who pray to live a lifestyle of intercession and cry out for those who are defiling and have been defiled. The Lord said, Tell those who are listening with their whole heart, I am crying out to my people afresh and anew to choose you this day to live a lifestyle that is in total opposition to the lifestyle of the world. How will they know you if you look and act just like the world living self-serving and self-preserving lives? I say to you today, let your words be few but full of truth and let your life be simple and transparent that my light will shine brilliantly in the darkness, destroying all the work of the enemy in the nations, says the Lord of all. Each person on the planet has a purpose. There is a life-changing message inside of you for someone. It may have seemed like a merry-go-round existence to you at times, but it has molded you and made you into a life-giving vessel to meet for the Master's use. This has been brought about with change after change in you. Always remember, we are always changing. Change is instigated by the life changer who changes not but is changing us and conforming us to his image. And as for the world, change is a result of a driven desire for power and control. Beloved, with each shift and shaking a bestseller was in the making. It is time to reveal the story of the potter and the clay with pen in hand as he gives revelation just what to say in real life today. Here are some verses for this word. Isaiah 51 verse 22 from the Amplified Bible So says your Lord, the Lord, who is also your God who pleads the cause of his people, listen carefully, I have taken from your hand the cup of staggering and intoxication, the cup of my wrath. You shall never drink it again. Isaiah 35 verses 1 to 2 from the Amplified Bible Zion's joyful future The wilderness and the dry land will be glad. The Araba desert will shout in exultation and blossom like the autumn crocus. It will blossom abundantly and rejoice with joy and singing. The glory of Lebanon will be given to it, the majesty of Mount Carmel, and the plain of Sharon. They will see the glory of the Lord, the majesty and splendor of our God. John 17 verse 4 from the Amplified Bible I have glorified you down here on the earth by completing the work that you gave me to do. Amos 9 verse 13 from the Amplified Bible Behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, when the plowman shall overtake the one who gathers the harvest, and the one who treads the grapes shall overtake him who sows the seed for the harvest continues until planting time. When the mountains will drip sweet wine, and all the hills shall melt that is, everything that was once barren will overflow with streams of blessing. 
Matthew 9 verse 17 from the Amplified Bible Nor is new wine put into old wineskins that have lost their elasticity. Otherwise the wineskins burst, and the fermenting wine spills, and the wineskins are ruined. But new wine is put into fresh wineskins, so both are preserved. Here's the pray along video for this word. Heavenly Father, you are the Father of lights. Fill me with your light, so that my eye remains singular in purpose, and my heart burns with a united desire to glorify you in all my endeavors. You have spoken, O Lord, of a world intoxicated by power and deception, yet you offer us your new wine, a symbol of transformation and abundance in Christ. I ask to be one of your vessels, ready to overflow with this fresh anointing, prepared for miracles and a bountiful harvest. In this era of change and shaking, guide my steps as you turn the tables. May my life reflect your truth, standing as a living testimony amid the clashing swords of worldly conflict. Mold me to embody your heart and demonstrate your love. Raise me up as part of your radical remnant, a warrior set apart, burning with the fire of your love. Use my life, my mess, as a message for others. Transform my battles into victories that shine forth your colors of triumph. Teach me, Father, to live simply and transparently, that your light may brilliantly pierce the darkness, dismantling the enemy's work. Help me to remain committed to a lifestyle of intercession and action, crying out for those lost and defiled, and be able to distribute all the earthly and spiritual blessings you've already made available. I choose today to stand in opposition to the world's ways, to live a life marked by your truth and love. Mold me, O potter, for your purposes. Change me daily, conforming me to your image, that I may be a life-giving vessel, ready for your use. In Jesus' name, Amen. To support the prophetic voice featured in this video, please check and follow the links in the description box below. For more words of encouragement from the heart of the Heavenly Father, please check out the Prophetic Encouragement playlist.